What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Spider-Man Miles Morales, but with his hoodie suit. So, you know, the red hood and the green jacket and stuff like that. So, more classic Miles Morales. I have the newer Miles Morales drawing tutorial on my channel as well, if you want to check that out. Just search. But uh, this is the one with the hoodie. So, I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So... I guess those big eyes, right, so... Or that sort of diamond that he has in the middle of his eyes, yeah, that's the easiest way. So we're like in the center here, right? Like so. And then coming down from that, we've got like the web sort of area. It's like this sort of webbed area in the middle, right? Kind of looks like a bit, a bit like a star or, or a gemstone or something. So that's like right in the middle of his face. So his head's up here, just up here, center point of my page is about there. So it's just up a little bit. And then out from here, right, we got his eyes, right? So big curved lines coming out this way, okay? Coming out like so. And you can go same thing on the other side. So pretty much the same thing anyway. Curve it up. And then we're gonna curve it around the other side. So we're gonna, un underneath here. So it's gonna come around real big. Like so. This. And this is gonna come up the side of his face. Like so. And these don't join because we got his we got his hoodie on top here, right? So we can just like sort of see the inside. So we do around this again. And this goes big eyes go up off the side of his face. Okay. And we might be able to see these sort of join maybe inside here to a point. Right, like that. Okay. This is like the side of his head. And then we're gonna do pretty much the same thing over here. So we'll go around like this. And then the white part of his eye kind of joins the side of his face, like so. Okay, and we'll do an inside line as well. So kind of comes down like this. Let me curve it around. So, kind of doing a double line, up, touches the side of his face, and we might be able to see these just join to a point just here, like so. So the reason I didn't bring these all the way to the edge is because we can see his hoodie sort of come across the top of his head here, okay? So it like goes across the top, like that, and then we'll bring it down the other side, like so. So the rest of his, the red part of his eye goes underneath the hoodie there, like so. Okay, so then maybe we could see like some of the side of his, his head or something just going up underneath like that, right? So then, rest of his face, so his chin is like here. So we got like a relatively square chin, just there, right? So you're about halfway, right? So from the hoodie to the middle of his eyes is about the same as the middle of his eyes to his chin. So this is halfway between top of the hoodie and his chin. So here to here, same as here to here, pretty much. It doesn't have to be exactly, but that's what you're going for. This is halfway, right? So kind of a square sort of chin, and then we'll go up for his jaw, on the side, and then up the side as well, for his jaw, right there, okay. All right, and we're stopping just under the sort of corners of his eyes, and then we're gonna change direction, we're gonna curve it up, and go up like so, side of his face, okay. 
change direction, go up the side of his face, like so, right? So but there's all webbing on his face and stuff, but we'll draw in the main parts of his body before we add in all those details, right? So neck comes down here. And so we could have like some like neck muscle lines, not a lot, but you know, just cause it's mostly like his suit and stuff, but you can add in little neck muscle lines, kind of like that. So then his trapezius, so his trapezius is like his muscle that joins his back to his neck. So that comes down here, right? And pretty much the same thing over here, right? It goes underneath his hood, right? So we can't see all of it. So then we'll bring this down here. And then we'll go in towards his body here. And then we can just see sort of the other side of his hood coming up into here. And we got some like fold lines and stuff inside here that go behind his head. And then pretty much the same thing on the other side. So we'll bring this down like so. Out. And then it'll go, it'll like curve back in pretty much the same as this. Sticks out a good bit, curve it back in towards the top of his jacket, like over here somewhere. And then we got like forward line going up behind his head. Just there. We got one coming out here. Forward lines up in here. So then the top of his hoodie, we'll bring it up right up to the top of my page, right? So right up here. Like so, and around. Down like so. Okay, so then the inside of his jacket goes down this way, right? So it's kind of a red, the, the red hoodie portion goes down like so, diagonal this way. And then the red hoodie portion on this side will do something similar. Go down like so, like that. And then, so we got like a green jacket. So it's got like a collar comes out around here, down, and then down this way. So, and I think this has like a zip sort of zip lines going down like so. Something similar on this one. It's just like these horizontal lines going the whole way down it. So then shoulder is gonna come off this way. So it's like his trapezius there. So his shoulder big green jacket on him. It's real baggy. Like this. Right. And then his arm and it kind of bumps and folds and stuff all the way down. And then we got the shoulder line for where his arm meets his body there. And fold line here. And some more folds and stuff. And then we got a line coming down the shoulder. Just there. And some more folds. Like so. And we do something like that over the other side as well. So it's like pretty high up. So it's 
over here. Won't be sort of wavy line going down. And then shoulder line again. I think there's like some sort of a logo here. Like a patch or something. Just like that. And then fold line. And yeah, and the inside of the collar of this as well. So like here. Kind of like this sort of line and I think there's like you can see more of a zipper on this side or the inside of this jacket just sort of lines like that and some more color color on that side as well it's got some lines on it like so and maybe a fold line going down there Right, so spider crest. Right, so it's kind of like done with spray paint or something. So let's see. So, right, so I guess we'll start with the spider. So, like two sort of mandible sort of fangs, two bumps there. And then this comes up for legs. So it's going to come up around like this. one like there and you can do it kind of rough because it's supposed to be done with like a spray paint sort of canister or something so you know you don't have to worry too much that's what we got so far then the next leg goes up like that goes up underneath his jacket and it goes back to there another one on this side Up to there. And like so. And then legs kind of sticking out real rough this way. So like sideways. And like it's like got like a blob of paint or something going down this here. So, and then this one goes in, and like so. Big blobby sort of leg, and then a big long one that comes down this way. And right down was off the bottom of my page. If you have more room, you could like finish that, fill it in. Like so, and then two sort of dripping lines down here and then the leg going down this way like that and then there's like a circle going all the way around it right but it's kind of like joined up with the leg so we're gonna just go here double line like that and it goes around then I think it goes like underneath his jacket here yeah like so and then out here And so that's kind of joined to this. So then this is like one sort of line. Because this is where the paint runs. And it's like red, sort of down here. It runs like down that way. And this goes around here. Kind of like that. Ooh, missed a bit just in there right so that's all supposed to be like red in one piece so I'll just get rid of these lines just between the legs and the circle you can leave them if you want but just this is supposed to be all colored in red so I'll just erase those now okay so next we're gonna do that webbing right so just back up here on his face so we'll go 
but yeah, we'll just go from here. So curve it down from here, from the corner of this star, and then the other corner comes down like so as well. Then we have one coming out from underneath his eye, just there. And then another one coming out from under his eye here. And then going right up the middle of his face, we got one going up his forehead, like so. And then another one going sort of diagonal this way. And then another one going diagonal off that way. And then so in between these, right, we got like basically like a lines, right? So let's go. So we just go one. We'll, just, we'll keep it easy. We'll just do three. And then we'll do like two up here. So we'll go one. No, we'll do we'll do three up here as well. One. Let's see. Two. And a third. Put it say here. Okay, and then these go across his face as well. This way. line just there just like so and then cross this way cross there one goes to there we have another web line going that way And then all going down his body, right? So let's see. So we got like one going straight down here. Okay, jump over your red spider, go straight down, divide up his body and chest, kind of like that. Right, so and then his collarbones, right? So we can see just some kind of collarbone sort of area going off this way, okay? Go up, over like that. And then spider web lines coming down towards his collarbone. So it's important to know where the collarbone is, right? Just like here, because this is where it sort of, like kind of hits this collarbone, kind of bumps around here. Do you know? And then we do it again. We go down his neck and then we go out this way towards the collarbone and then maybe like one more just here real close to his neck and then going out that way we do pretty much the same thing on the other side so down like so change direction go out so one, two, three, and then we might have like another line going that way or something. Like this. And then so web lines, right? So going all down. So no easy way to do it, you just gotta go for it. These curving sort of lines like so.
So um, we'll go down his body, so like one come across here. In between the red spider leg sort of lines. You know, something down here as well. So how, ma how much of this you do is kind of up to you, you know? So they're kind of real skinny on his neck and then they get wider as they go down. But I think that'll do. I think that's enough for me. Anyway, I think it gives it the idea without making it too complicated, so. And just thickening up the edge line. Sometimes that helps make a character stand out a little bit more. Sometimes. So you're just thickening up this edge. That's all. Boom. Uh, but I think that that's everything. Just keep a little line here I forgot to erase. How to draw Miles Morales in his sort of classic hoodie Spidey uniform. Okay, well I think I'll leave it there. Hope it was helpful guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.